everyone. Today we're going to show you how you can change a color in your image by using masks in Lightroom. Now this can be easily done in Photoshop and there are a million tutorials on that, but today we want to show you the capabilities of masks in Lightroom. First we're going to show you a practical way you can use this tip and then we're going to show you a more surreal way. Let's get started. By now, we're sure you've heard about Squarespace and for a good reason. Not only have they been supporting our channel for a long time, we've been happy customers of theirs for years. They make it incredibly simple to get a blog, portfolio, or online store up and running in no time with their beautiful designer templates. If you run into any problems along the way, they have terrific 24-7 customer support to help you out. And you don't have to worry about updating and installing things because it's an all-in-one platform. To find out how easy it is to set up your own website and save 10%, Head to squarespace.com slash mangostreet and use the code mangostreet at checkout. No matter what you shoot, it'll look great on Squarespace. You can use this technique to create surreal colors in your images similar to Instagrams like this, or you can also use it for more practical reasons like enhancing certain parts of your image, enhance, 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 freeze and enhance, or just to change the overall feel of your photos. For the first example, I'll change the color of Rachel's jacket in this photo. I'm in the develop module, and I'll start by clicking on the adjustment brush tool. I'll keep the size of the brush pretty small, with a medium feather, and the flow and density turned up to 100. I also want auto mask selected, which will help me stay inside the lines. Then I'm just going to paint with the brush over Rachel's jacket. I'll hit O on my keyboard to show my mask as I paint. You can also zoom in as you work to get as precise as possible. Sometimes auto mask will prevent you from painting over areas you want to include with your mask, so feel free to turn it off as needed. Hold Alt on a PC or Option on a Mac to paint away any unwanted parts of your mask. Once I'm done, I'm going to drop the saturation all the way to negative 100. At this point, it's apparent that I still have some cleaning up to do on my mask, so I'll go ahead and touch that up now. Next, I'll click the rectangle by color. Then I'll just find a hue I like. I'll go with this pinkish hue. One thing I'm noticing with this hue is that the edges are getting desaturated. So I'll just go down to the lens corrections and under manual, just turn down the defringing. I can also turn the saturation up a little to start mixing in the original color of the jacket with my pinkish overlay. The most time consuming part with this is the masking, so definitely spend the time to get it just right and once you're done, you can pretty much select whichever color you'd like. You may find with some hues, you will need to adjust your exposure as well to get a more realistic look. You can then also try out different editing styles and presets, all while keeping the color change intact. I also tried this out with my red jacket so I can match Rachel. Yeah. There we go. For a more surreal approach, we can change the color of the Blue Lagoon to something like pink. Or we can just enhance the original color a little. There's one other quick tip we want to cover and that's using Lightroom's range masks. These were introduced in the 2017 version of Lightroom CC Classic. So with this photo, the sky is pretty washed out. To bring some color back into it, I'll grab a graduated filter and drag down right about here. Then under Range Mask, I'll select Color. Then I'll click the eyedropper and drag a small box around the sky. This will restrict the mask to only the sky. If your mask has more varied hues, you can hold Shift and click on different areas of the sky to add more sample points. If the graduated filter is still including any part of your image that you don't want in your mask, you can click up here where it says brush and hold down alt or option to paint away anything you don't need. Now I'm going to pick a light pink color for the sky and drop the saturation all the way down. I also turned on the exposure a bit as well. I want to add a little gradient to the sky, so I'm going to right click on the filter and choose duplicate. Now I'll drag this point up and then pull the feather down to create a soft mask edge. Now I'll choose a blue color for the other part of the gradient. 
And there we have it. Thanks so much for watching. As with all of our Lightroom tutorials, we hope that you learned something new. Don't forget to turn on our notification bell and like and subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you next week.